Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our titanium lava rock exhaust wrap to wrap your exhaust like this. These come available both in 50mm and 25mm whips, perfect for different complexities of exhaust. What you're going to need is your titanium lava rock exhaust wrap, the metal locking tires, six of these are included but you can buy more of these from our store, some plastic cable tires just to help try to hold things in place while you're working, good pair of scissors, good pair of pliers and cutters, and also a protective pair of gloves. So all I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to count the number of loops. So I need to wrap that round and count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So at this stage, it's all about trying to count out the number of loops um, with the consistent overlap that you've got. You've got that in, that in your hands, and then count that number of loops back. So now I'm going to wet this. I'm not going to leave it soaking, I'm just going to have it so it's wet. That's going to provide a tighter fit around the uh, exhaust once it all does dry. This step isn't vital, and some people go without, um, but it's entirely up to you. We find we prefer this method. So we find this just makes it a little bit more pliable. So you've got an edge here that doesn't have a loop on it and one edge that does have a loop on it. It's really important that we start with this out of the way and the furthest down the manifold. Okay, so we always start with one, one branch, but it's really good to understand you know, where the branches meet and ultimately, for this example, I'm going to be stopping around here, uh, but I know that the next branch that meets it is actually this one, and then that one's going to continue and finish the rest of the, the branch all the way up to the collector here. So now one big thing that a lot of people do suffer with or struggle with is having to continuously keep wrapping around each pipe each time. That makes it very difficult, especially once you've started and you've started to gain uh, momentum and tightness. So what we do is something called priming. So ultimately we begin wrapping, and before you start doing it tight, you want to wrap the entirety, or a good amount anyway, of the exhaust wrap so that you can build up that tightness um, and you don't ultimately lose your flow. Try to move that out of the way, keep it nice and loose. But again, that will make a little bit more sense down the line. So the very first revolution that you need to make is something that we call anchoring. Okay, so you can see there, all I'm going to do is make a triangle there, as you may be able to see. Wrap around once, hold that with a plastic cable tie, and then work our way up. Once this is all done, that will hold itself nicely in place. This is just the way just to try to get a nice neat edge. Okay, so the first revolution, you just want to try and get that as tight as you can. And again, because the wrap is wet, it's a little bit easier to mold and shape. Don't worry if it keeps roll, uh, you know, wrapping its way around pipes, that's fine. Because in time, as you continue up, that's going to become, continue to get tighter. So for now, as I mentioned, we're going to just use plastic cable ties just because they're easy to cut off um, and they're easier to work with. Okay, so now we're going to continue wrapping from the bottom all the way to the top. So again, you know, because everything's already been primed, everything's nice and loose on there, it's really easy to try to get this. And the wetness of the, um, wetness of the exhaust wrap is going to allow you to get that nice and tight. As it dries out, it's just going to dry a little bit more tighter. That manipulation that you've done now, it's just going to make a little more sense. So you can see there, I wrap it a little bit at a time, and it is a little bit more moldable compared to something like a gold tape. Uh, so don't be afraid to fold that over just to try to really help and uh, get that consistent overlap that you're after. And then for now, I'm just going to pull that nice and tight, cut it down just because I don't actually need all this extra. Cut this down, secure it with our plastic cable tie again until I come in with this, this pipe here because obviously they join the same color. So at this stage, you just want to check your work through, make sure your overlap's really consistent. I know it's not always possible to get a perfect overlap, but as best as you can, make sure it's nice and tight all the way down and there's no loose areas. Um, and once you've done that, you can move on to the next. Otherwise, this is a great time to undo your work and go again. Okay, so now it's all about trying to restart the process again with the next branch along. In this case, I actually want to complete this collector, so I'm going to skip these two for now. I'm going to go straight over to this one here, which goes through, round, and joins up with this top of this collector here. 
I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to wrap it around, count the number of loops I require, count the loops out of my hand, cut it out, wet it, and begin wrapping again. So now I'm at a point where I'm going to be wrapping the second pipe over the top of the first. I know we put this, uh, this securing tie in earlier, so I'm going to need to cut that off and then wrap the two as one. When I get to the very end, again, I'm going to secure that as one, and we're going to come back to the metal zip ties later. This is the same process as what you've been doing on a single branch, but now I'm just doing two at the same time. Okay, so now I've got to the very end. All I'm going to do is secure it in the same way as I have these two and come back to that later once I've completed the, the other three branches. One common concern that people do have at this stage is that we're gonna be adding insulation, more insulation to this part because ultimately we're doubling up. Uh, is that gonna cause an issue? No, heat protection um, is gonna be governed by how consistent and how tight your wrap is. So I understand that sometimes you do have to double up there, which isn't necessarily gonna be a bad thing and the temperature differences between a singly layered and a double layered isn't gonna to vary too much. Just gonna hold this last, um, this collector out of the way in the same way that we've been doing already. Finish that off with the final fifth one. Wrap all that together and then we'll secure with the tires. So there we are, most of the wrapping is complete. Um, all that's left to do now is to fit our stainless steel tires. Some people don't feel they need them at this stage, uh, but down the collector end you definitely do. Down this end, if I remove all of these zip ties, they should hold uh, the exhaust wrap from coming up. And I may end up leaving that, but it's definitely uh, recommended at the top end. So what you can see here is this, this is nice and tight. So I'm not actually gonna need to put uh, metal zip ties on any of these branches because they're all nice and tight like you see here and it's not gonna be moving anywhere. The top, I definitely will need to. Okay, so to finish up the ends, it's exactly the same method as how we started by using the anchoring method, 45 degree angle and going from there. Okay, so the metal locking tires are really simple to use. They just slot in just like this. And this is where your pliers are gonna come in handy. To avoid a sharp edge that we're gonna create here, cut it, then fold it over on itself so it's gonna be there, just like this. So there it is, that's how to use our titanium lava rock exhaust wrap. The main thing, just take your time, keep it nice and consistent. If you like this, check out all the rest of our how-to videos.